It's the hottest ticket in college sports. Over 9,300 will pack Cameron Indoor Stadium to see J.J. Reddick, Sheldon Williams, and company one more time. Senior night at Cameron, the number one team in the country getting ready to host number 15, North Carolina. Welcome to ESPN Saturday Primetime presented by Cisco Systems. It's the 15th ranked Tar Heels of North Carolina against the top team of the land, the Duke Blue Devils, here at Cameron Indoor Stadium. Standings look like this, the top five. Duke on top. North Carolina can gain a number two seed if they can pull an upset tonight. Boston College has won today. NC State and Florida State round out the top five. The emotions are running so high in this building right now. Senior night, J.J. Reddick, the ACC's all-time leading scorer, plays his final game at Coach K Court. So does Sheldon Williams, the other All-American. Part of six seniors that have won 111 games have been to three Sweet 16s and a Final Four. An unbelievable performance at the Smith Center against Georgia Tech. Reddick off the inbounds, knocks it down. I guess he's answering all those critics that had that theory about fatigue. Is he on fire? Well, wow, somebody called the fire chief. He's burning up the nuts already. Six for Reddick. What a way to start senior night. That's mom and dad standing, standing up. This kid, I think he takes more abuse across America than any player I've ever witnessed in 27 years, Brad. The verbal abuse, the physical abuse, the profanity. Should be a no-no in arenas. He's handled it beautifully over his career. At the Smith Center against Virginia. Reddick, long three, in and out. Wow, that was a downtown. He shot that from Chapel Hill. Wallace into Reddick. Oh, the got his man up in the air. First matchup. I mean, they went down big early, battled back. Reddick, turn around, fade away. Reddick pull up three, long range, rebound, Hansbrough. Some odd sometimes the guys can do that as well as he exactly. can. Here's a steal, bad pass by Reddick, Fraser, Noel with a finish. David Noel, a great athlete. You know, he could play football. He originally was recruited as a wide receiver. Reddick in the open floor. Little delay around Noel, the follow is missed by Williams. Got a jam right there. Hansbrough, nice extra pass. See, I didn't go on it. Sheldon Williams trying to get that third foul on it. Three-pointer. Got it. On the outside, that was Rayshon Terry. Right. Then you got to deal with the big guy in the, in the post. Reddick threw a double team. J.J. Reddick has not scored a field goal since the 16-36 mark of the first half. Got his own miss and had it stolen by Frazier. Oh, really good luck. <laughs> well, he's got a lot more hair than that. I know that. Underneath, there's Ginyard and a nice feed down Ginyard. low. And we are tied for the first time in the game with a minute and change remaining in the first half. Wallace on the outside, guarded by Miller. Reddick straight away three. Way off Not the even mark. close. Not even close. Hey, he started on fire, but he has really struggled. A lot of that's due to the good defensive effort by North Carolina. Here's Terry. He may have been fouled by Reddick on the follow-through. They don't call it. J.J. Reddick started off four out of five, and he's 0 for since, including this one. You just never see this happen. Wow, you don't see this. You don't see that. That's Brick City, baby, and that's not J.J. Reddick. Look at him as he goes back on the defensive side. I would rate him, you know, based on his career at Duke, one of the top 20 to play in the ACC. Coach K told us he went back and he looked at some of the film and he noticed J.J. Reddick chewing gum versus Temple. He said, you never chew gum. Why are you doing that now? Of course, some of his facial expressions looking a little different than he normally does. Stressing to J.J., keep doing what you were doing before. He doesn't want him to get off kilter, Brad. Well, he's missed his last eight, but that doesn't mean he can't turn around and hit six of his next eight. And off the bench. Reddick spins. Puts it on the shot for free throws and didn't get it. That was a bad shot. Great defensive effort by North Carolina. Noel ahead. Frazier for the lead and he got it. Frazier can shoot that three. I like guards. I like guards that can make shots. 
lead of the night for Carolina. North Carolina's been the aggressive. They have really attacked on the offensive side. They are a bit much more efficient right now than Duke. For three, Reddick. Rebound, Rayshon Terry. 65-59, Carolina. And Sayers again for Clinton Thomas. I just told you a minute ago, Brad, they're sluggish, man. They're a little bit sluggish. Duke needs a timeout. Yes, sir. They're like a fighter on the ropes right now. 7.33. Carolina feeling it, but a lot of time left here at Cameron. What he had, I banged my head up on a they cement got, block. They still got a little bit of your DNA up here on this uh, rafter. We'll keep an eye on the foul situation, too. Ready for three. Just not there right now. And he, he had, had a wide open look. He really did. Had the wide open look. And again. I really believe emotional fatigue has really caught this kid. Not physical, but emotional. I think mentally, he needs a big, big break. 18 points. This team, this team to me has been an overachieving team. They have rode the coattails of two superstars and they have gotten maximum out of these kids. There's the rankings that we're talking about. The 92 Duke team won the national title by doing it much the same way. Duke right now at 76.5% from the free throw line as Nelson misses the second there. And for people, if they forget, that is Leighton, Hurley, and Hill. And going to the rack in a hurry. Marcus Ginyard has had a big game, 11 points for Carolina. What a big time play going coast to coast. Yeah, that is a problem, but the big problem really is they can't get J.J. Redick to get open for his three. They need that badly, and no one else is stepping up. The other players are not stepping up. J.J. has one field goal in the second half. It's a three-pointer. He does have 18 points. He'll become the 10th player in ACC history to lead in scoring in back-to-back -back years because even though he's having a little bit of an off night, he's not going to lose his lead. Missed that shot, though. To help on a basketball. Two on the shot clock. Hands were way out. Got it! A three-pointer! Are you serious? They're celebrating at Franklin Street, baby. Not a chop for hell with that one. Dad is celebrating in the stands behind the scorer's table. Comes Duke. Reddick. Big three. Last three possessions. I go inside to Sheldon Williams right now. Duke can make it a one-point game. We got a minute to play. A lot of time on that clock. I would go inside to the All-American. Trying to get the angle, bring the ball down into the interior. Hollis looks over. Dockery fall on a three on the drive now. Muscles it up, and it's blocked. And a hands roll comes up. It'll lose ball. American J.J. Reddick can get a touch in that sequence, struggling, but Sheldon Williams has been so effective inside, should have got a touch. Timeout with 23.3 taken by Carolina. They're down to two timeouts. Duke has only one remaining. And get back to Chapel Hill with a W. The disbelief on the Duke bench and J.J. Reddick and Sheldon Williams and four other seniors. Senior night's going to be spoiled by their arch rival from eight miles away in Chapel Hill. Hansborough is going to be the hero of the night over on Franklin Street and in Chapel Hill, and he might be a hero there for three more years. I hope he stays in school because they have the makings of a great team. Mike Krzyzewski either way is bringing out his seniors to a standing ovation. And a well-deserved one. Four brilliant years for those guys. Six seniors in all. Four of them that play a lot and are captains. Two of them, of course, are All-Americans in Sheldon Williams and J.J. Reddick. 111 wins, two ACC titles, two ACC tournament titles. Sweet 16, a final four. The only thing missing is the resume that says national championships. Look at the emotion on the youthful faces and even the moms and dads of the Carolina folks that got to see it. First win. At Duke since 01, but the first time a senior night upset since 1996. Quite a game. North Carolina was just faster to the ball most of the second half, and they win it 83 to 76. Dick, it's been fun to be part yes, of prime time with you again, partner. It's been fun, baby. North Carolina is going to be a scary team the rest of the way. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it because they're getting better and better on the defensive side. They got a tremendous player inside and certainly defensively. They're